okay? So now relax right here, let it go. Oh, that was huge. Let the head fall. Nice. Right there. And second chop here. Good. Okay, right there facing that way. Good. And I'm going to go even a little further. Let the head fall a little lower. Beautiful. Right there facing that way. How's that doing, by the way, after that? Uh, so I was actually kind of like, I thought it was really neat. So for a lot of years, my two, I don't know, the two toes, these two toes, right? they've, they've been like crunched like that for yeah. a lot of years. And there's a crease right here that you can see from just and like has it, it like been it's it's relieved a little bit that oh, crease cool. isn't as as prominent yeah and then the the two toes are actually sticking out sweet like for the most part normal instead which is, of cramps yeah instead Story of doing the fist thing that hasn't that hasn't happened in a lot of years so that's nice. kind of neat okay are we ready Okay, everybody, this is Will, one of my patients. So Will's got a lot of neurological stuff going on. He's had it for a really long time, but slowly but surely I'm tacking all the reasons. So I'm going to show you guys, once I always do, I'm going to show you my structural stuff I do. I do a lot of other stuff too, and I'm doing a lot on him as well, but I'm going to stay strictly to structure today. Okay, so let's have you stand. I'm going to go over here, actually. So Teresa, if you want to come around, stand right here facing this way. I'm getting a little more efficient. I'm getting a little smarter. And then, can I take this hat? Of course. Right, right here. Oh, you're good. This way, I don't have to get so far from the wall. Okay, look down for me, back to level. So I'm always looking for scar tissue first. Look up, back to level. As I always tell everybody, the scar tissue I'm talking about is in the actual spinal column. It's attached to your spinal cord. Look to the left, back to level. And when you have that, it causes a lot of problems. So Will doesn't have any, but that's because I've done a lot already on him in the past, so he didn't have a lot of big pieces of scar tissue hitting him. He's got a lot of stuff in other categories that I'm working with, but he does also have some structure to clear up, so we're going to work on that. Okay, so I'm at about T3, starting to get something here. Okay, so let's do this T3. Back right here for me. Cross these two. Let your shoulders relax. I'm going to go right here. Bring that head up for me. Let me get in there first. Relax your shoulders and legs. Let the head fall a little. Good. And I'm going to go even a little further. Let the head fall a little lower. Beautiful. Right there facing that way. Nice. Piece of cake. Now, okay, that's gone. Good. And you guys can see his posture is already pretty good even from the get-go. It just got a little bit better. But since I've been working with him, his posture has really been on point. He really doesn't have much slouch left in him anymore, which is really nice. So I'm probably about T7 or 8. Another one here at T7, 8-ish, right there. Cross the arms for me. Relax your shoulders. Now this one's pretty low, so slouch a pretty good amount. Keep coming. Let the head fall. Good. That one moved pretty easy. Didn't have much to go. Nice. There it is. Okay. So now I'm going to go through, we're starting to get into the lumbars now. Okay, so I'm about L2, we're still looking. L3, nothing. Four, nothing. Five, four, and five-ish. Okay, so I'm about, that's about L3, nothing. L4 tends to be where I've been doing a lot of work on him lately, it's about L4. Sure enough, quite a large L4 to do that's forward. So, sit right there for me, feet that way. So, so now I'm gonna bring his L4 back. That's it, sitting up for me, okay. Cross the arms. And so you guys can see in the legs, he gets a lot of spasms in the legs from this neurological stuff. And you know, like him and I have figured out, there's a lot of it has to do with this L4 in here as I'm bringing that L4 back. That's a big part of why he gets these leg twists and spasms. But he also has a lot of chemical and other things that I'm working on him with to fix as well. So right now I'm going to fix his L4. Okay, so now relax right here, let it go. Oh, that was huge. Now, don't uh, let it, uh, his face that he's making bother you. It's just because when you move that L4 so big, he sometimes gets a leg cramp. Right here facing this way. Fortunately, it's like I have to do that. It's a bittersweet moment needed, but also sometimes uncomfortable in his case. 
Okay, so I'm gonna recheck, make sure I got it all the way out, but it moved pretty nice. Okay, so that L4 is fine. Good, I'm gonna go to his L5. Okay, his L5 is fine. Okay, now I'm gonna check his sacrum, make sure I got nothing in there. Nothing. Right side. Okay, so now I'm getting a little something. It's gonna be right. Looks like his sacrum on his right hand side here. Triple check. Okay, a little push on this right side here, Will. There it is, sorry about the push. Okay, much better. Good here, good here. Okay, now let me recheck some things here. Now, I don't do legs on him because since they're already, their spasm and twisted up, they're not gonna, and not a lot's gonna be able to happen with him. I'm doing some other things with him to clear that out, slowly but surely. But in terms of structural stuff, can't do much on those, but I have to do other stuff. Okay, so let me refix that T2 I did on your T23-ish area. Cross the arms. Take a little step to your left. Right there, okay, let me get in there. Relax your shoulders, let the head fall. Nice, right there. Solid addition. Good, yes. Look down for me. So I'm gonna recheck scar tissue. I'm gonna look fast way up to the ceiling. Oh, beautiful. That got a lot better. Nice. Look to the right, back to level, good. Left, back to level, good. Okay. Nothing there. I'm just gonna recheck all the ones I did earlier. Make sure I don't have to redo them. It might have to redo this one again just because I pulled it out when I did that lumbar. Yep, I'm gonna redo this one again, just to refix that. Okay, let your shoulders relax. Let the head and body slouch. Good, and come down a little more straight forward, let the head fall. There, we got it, good. Thank you. Okay, let's see how his posture's doing now from where we started. Take a deep breath in. Relax, let it go. Last thing I'm seeing, he just has a little bit of forward shoulder roll, so I'm gonna do a first rib chop. So back right here. And once again, the reason the shoulders get forward is when the rib behind here, move this temporarily, when the rib behind the clavicles here gets forward, it drags the shoulders. So let the shoulders relax nice and loose, two chops, and second chop here. Good, okay, right there facing that way. Take a nice deep breath in once you're comfortable there. Good, one more time. So now you guys can see how his shoulder no longer slouches and it sits back. And believe it or not, sometimes visits with ABC can be pretty easy pretty quick like that depending on the layer. I've already been working on him for quite some time. So turn to the camera, Will. Is it worth seeing me since we started a while back? I would say so. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of change. What would you say the main thing is that you've noticed out of everything that we've done so far with you? Uh, just a relaxing in the spasming. It ends quicker. It's not as intense. More relaxed, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. Relax is good. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna keep working with Will on some of those other things after this visit here. So, so thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. If you're interested in coming to the clinic, give me a call. You can find me on all my Instagrams and all my TikToks and wherever you guys are finding us. Thank you so much, guys, and glad you enjoyed it.